Welcome to the Polko Minute, where you hear the latest best practices and news in local government and civic engagement. I'm Angelica Waddell with this week's headlines. Our first article today covers a recent cyber attack on the water supply of a small city in Florida, Oldsmar, located in Pinellas County, Florida, which has around 15,000 residents. And now the local sheriff's office, along with the FBI and Secret Service, are investigating a serious security breach. The cyber attack happened when someone remotely accessed the water treatment system that provides water directly to city residents and businesses. A plant operator was monitoring the system early one morning when they noticed someone briefly accessing the system. This wasn't unusual, as the system is set up to allow authorized users to remotely access it for troubleshooting. But when the system was remotely accessed again that same afternoon, activity was more suspicious. The plant operator watched as someone took control of the mouse and directed it to the water treatment control software. There, the hacker worked for almost five minutes to tamper with treatment controls. The hacker increased the amount of sodium hydroxide, or lye, from 100 parts per million to just over 11,000 parts per million. Sodium hydroxide is used in small amounts to control water acidity, but it is a highly corrosive compound that can have serious detrimental effects if used improperly. Thankfully, the city's water supply was not affected by the hackers. Several other safeguards are in place to prevent contaminated water from entering the water supply. Still, as a precautionary measure, the plant has disabled the remote access system used in the attack. No one seems to know why the city of Oldsmar was targeted, and no arrests have been made. Other municipalities have been alerted to the attack and encouraged to inspect their own safeguards to water treatment systems and other infrastructure. Florida Senator Marco Rubio addressed the attack in a tweet, saying that it should be treated as a matter of national security. Our next article today covers a success story from the town of Ashland, Massachusetts. City officials worked with Polko surveys and engagement strategies and managed to double the attendance at town meetings. The strategies implemented also decreased the average age of attendees from 64 to 48. And these achievements are significant for many reasons. Ashland's government uses an open town meeting format. And this means that legislative decisions can only be made by registered voters who have the ability to show up at the time and place designated for the town meeting. It is also an obvious challenge for adults with children and work schedules and activities and family life to be able to participate in public meetings. So because of this, many of the town's most consequential decisions were being made by an un underrepresented sample of their residents. So in response to these communication and engagement barriers, Ashland residents set up an online group. This group worked to identify concerns facing people struggling to attend meetings in person. And based on the group's feedback, the town provided free childcare for all town meetings. And as a result, the average attendance of in-person town meetings prior to COVID nearly doubled and the average age of attendees was decreased. So more of those average residents were represented. Additional survey data was used to identify and address groups of people that feel excluded from opportunities to participate. This led to the creation of a people of color group to help town officials develop policies to promote more equality and equity. Ashland is truly striving to increase community engagement and ensure that all of its residents' voices are heard. And finally, we're going to wrap up today's episode with a few tips for cultivating motivation and focus in the year ahead. 2020 was a series of unpredictable challenges, am I right? And 2021 may not fall too far behind. But there are many proven ways, both ancient and modern, that can help us not only survive, but to thrive during these times of uncertainty. The first tip is to practice mindfulness. This simply means being fully present in the moment. It's a tool that stops wandering thoughts and worry and increases our awareness and self-reflection. Current research even shows that mindfulness practice is a key to successful leadership. Next, 
we need to practice more gratitude. I know I do. Gratitude has immediate and far-reaching benefits for our body and our sense of well-being. Finding something to be grateful for releases dopamine and serotonin in the brain. And these neurotransmitters are responsible for making us feel good. People who notice and appreciate the little details in life, they tend to be happier. And this is why. Next, try to learn something new. Cultivating a new skill offers the opportunity to change your brain chemistry in a positive way. New knowledge can spark creativity and help us solve problems we're having in all kinds of areas in our lives, which is really important for local government leaders to be able to be able to solve those challenges inside of ourselves and outside. And finally, walk, walk, walk. Taking regular walks shifts the mind and moves the body. Walks provide us with fresh air and a break from repetitive environments. So get up from your computer after this video, get away from your phone and take a time to consciously go and walk. Make regular appointments with yourself just as you would if you were with a colleague or you're setting a meeting on Zoom. Make a time on your calendar to get up and go for a walk, 30 minutes a day. During the day, refresh, reset, and value your own well-being. Whatever it is that you need to do to take care of yourself, I'm giving you permission today. Well, thanks for watching the Polko Minute with me. My name is Angelica Waddell, Director of Communications at Polko National Research Center. Polko makes it easy for local governments to get accurate and reliable feedback from their communities. How are you keeping up with today's engagement issues and trends? Join a panel discussion with other local government leaders and us nationwide. Connect with me on LinkedIn or send us a note at polco.us contact to let us know if you're in. See you next time.